Hello everyone, I'm Jenny Hamill with SNW and joining me now is Wayne Adams, Chairman of the Board for SNIA. So I really appreciate you joining us. I know you're a busy man. <laughs> yes, thank you for having me today. You know, it's been a good uh, opening up the event. We have several days to go and uh, it's great being with our business partners here uh, Computer World to put on SNW. Yeah, co-sponsoring a major conference, and it looks like it's very successful so far. What are your thoughts so far on the conference? Uh, it's excellent. Uh, you know, even though the economy is a bit soft, this event's on the uh, upswing with uh, new products being announced here, highest ever end user attendance. This event's been in place since 1999. We hold it twice a year, so it has a history, has a following, and uh, it's a real strong showing here at this SNW. And like you said, you know, we have gone through, just as a country, some tenuous times financially, but uh, playing a leadership role in this organization and, and seeing this conference grow and expand, uh, what are you seeing as the direction of uh, the SNW conference? Yeah, so, you know, just a word about the high-tech industry, you know, recession, the boom, boom and bust cycles, the industry is constantly reinventing itself, uh, new technology, so even when you know, the, the sales isn't going straight. You still see innovative products that just come out at the consumer level and at the enterprise level. At this conference, uh, the, the big words are still uh, data deduplication, virtualization, cloud computing, and uh, green, green IT and uh, green storage. Okay, so you took the main stage. You're the chairman for SNIA, so Absolutely. you have a, a couple of moments to really express what you see are some key things to focus on within the market and some trends. So tell me, uh, tell me what you spoke about. I spoke about a new program SNIA just announced here at the conference called the SNIA Emerald Program. Okay. And it's a program to help the overall uh, IT industry make better decisions about selecting equipment and how much uh, power a piece of storage equipment consumes. So in a similar way that you may look at miles per gallon when you go to select a car, it's the set of information you look at, you want to understand. It may not be your primary decision point of what do I buy. We're doing this for the storage industry. We have a set of metrics that we uh, have uh, measured and, and we have a repository that's part of the uh, of data, of data reports that's part of the Emerald program. And that's what uh, we're providing for the uh, vendors of the industry as well as globally, anyone that needs the information to make more intelligent solution selections that have to also take into consideration power. And why is that so important for your vendors? Well, it's important because they have the questions asked all the time, but every vendor in, up until this point in time has had to come up with their own test methods and report data. And so from a, a selection standpoint, you end up with uh, data that looks the same, but it's not a, what I would call an apples to apples comparison. So a industry-wide program allows you to look at the same information in a uniform way, just like you would look at miles per gallon on a, on a car when you go out to a single website. Why it's important is that there's many parts of the world that have very high energy costs. They can't right. afford to expand an electrical grid, or you may be already in a constrained part of a grid. So like, for example, in California, the, uh, the electric utility industry provides rebates back to companies on certain technologies that they should buy right. there to help steer that. So what they're trying to offset is a, a rapid need to build out additional infrastructure by just making uh, wiser choices we can uh, don't have to all of a sudden burden higher electricity costs because you did a major capital expansion, uh, a capital, uh, expansion project around building out a bigger grid. Yeah, you know what's interesting, Wayne, in some of the interviews that I've done at this conference, I'm hearing a lot of that from CIOs and, and just people who are participating. A lot of streamlining, a lot of now let's make some better decisions in choosing what kind of storage, how we apply it, and things like costs and uh, energy efficiency yeah. are just common th themes that I'm hearing. Yeah, so sometimes um, cloud com computing is a way that a company can expand its IT operations and, and, and help them with their, their specific uh, sustainability objectives and still expand their, their computing capabilities. So as we move into the era of cloud computing, there's a whole a new set of um, uh, challenges that are out there. Is how do I write a, a solid, rock salt service level agreement that I can be guaranteed I can get my data back? So if I follow that, uh, path that uh, looking at the ROI, what's the business model of moving from a capital and OPEX type of budget to a services style budget where it's just a, a steady um, subscription fee every year. How do I turn my, my budgeting cycles and my cost justification cycles and apply that back to the applications I need to run my business? 
So when you introduced that concept, when you gave that speech, did you mm -hmm. get an opportunity for Q&A or did you hear from any of the attendees and were they excited about your announcement? Oh, absolutely. Uh, many of the analysts are very excited about the Emerald program right. itself. Uh, they know what we've been doing in the cloud space. So. Uh, Back in April 2010, we released a, a specification for data uh, storage as a service. And this is how, once data is stored in the cloud, what does that service provider do with that data? How many copies does he make of it to protect it? If you lose a copy to restore it, can it go across geographic boundaries and national boundaries due to the laws? What's the privacy laws that are around that? So uh, we're in the process of getting ready to submit that to uh, ISO, International Standards Organization, right. so that becomes a, a recognized standard uh, way to manage data once it's stored in the cloud. And so that's been a, another major breakthrough in the set of discussions that we're having here at the conference. Yeah, so with that said, now you're talking with other leaders in this world when you're talking about storage and information technologies. Um, there's a, it seems to be such a great value then in a conference like this where kind of the heads of your industry get together and start sharing ideas. I mean, it seems invaluable. Yeah. Especially, I, you know, you can read an article or whatnot, but to actually have a personal conversation and say, this is what the new standard is or this is how it's applicable to your business. Right, yes, and w always looked at it as, uh, I'm also part of the team that helps build the, uh, the audience and the, and the, uh, that comes here as well as the agenda and the topics here, and it's always viewed, from my viewpoint, as a 360 degree view of the industry. Right. You have analysts, you have uh, media, you have uh, decision makers that are purchasing, you have the vendors that are here, you have a lot of companies that uh, value add with the services that they have around there. So you can have this whole industry discussion in the rooms, in the hallways, in the receptions uh, for four days and then you can walk away with a, 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 a treasure trove of information that if you sat back at your office you would either be reading one part of that right, view of, or I can invite someone in on a telephone call or do a presentation. But this is all in real time and it just builds on itself and that's what face-to-face -face events are about is the, the, the networking and the information exchange that happens in real time from all the uh, people that participate. So then in order to cre create what you think is pretty much an expert 360 view of where the industry is going and having everyone kind of uh, locked in yeah. on that, SNIA must have some incredible partnerships in order yeah. to Im implement spreading that information. Absolutely, so uh, you know, for example, uh, we're co-owner of Storage Networking World, so right. that, that brings the audience together. We partner with a number of analyst firms to do market research. We have. Uh, different um, uh, relationships with uh, affinity groups for end users as well as just the general event has brings in end users itself. Uh, the industry association in and of itself is uh, more or less a, a vendor driven organization that's developing standards but, but it's not exclusive to just that organization and, and we do other things to serve parts of it. So we have all these uh, it, uh, partnerships that are in place that bring the conversations. We're sort of like the hub of the, all the spokes of a bigger wheel of how, right. how we drive the overall industry for uh, storage industry. So it seems like a very exciting time. It is. It's every time we get here, it's an exciting time because we always have news to share and the industry is always changing and that's, that's the thing is uh, change is constant in our industry. Yeah, and the buzz will have a ripple effect, no doubt. Absolutely. Okay. Well, Wayne Adams, uh, Chairman of the Board for SNIA, I appreciate you joining us. I hear well, there's a you. great band that we need to be checking out tonight. Absolutely, so. great band, and SNIA has a great booth, and we have uh, you know iPads and uh, Emerald tote bags and the whole bit, so there's everything you would want to do to have a full uh, day and night experience A great there. experience. All right, right, Wayne Adams, I appreciate you joining us. Thank and you. And I'm Jenny Hamill with SNW. Thanks for watching this segment.